You see my bitch, say she had bad Anytime I knock, I knock it out No rubber band, no rubber band Every time I come down, they show me that If I know good loud, she got my back I do you who, I'm happy that I do you who, say everything I do is for my woman Anything I talk, when you talk, I go do one
I've already freshened up. I think the last time we talked, I was in the cab and I was telling you how I was heading to my hotel room when I arrived. And instead of ordering breakfast, I actually passed out and slept. <laughs> and the next thing I woke up to was wine, which I gladly took because hey, I'm on holiday and it's just enjoyment over here. Yeah, that's actually what I'm currently doing. I'm drinking wine. I've already taken the whole bottle. This is literally the last glass of wine that I'm taking. I'm seated on the balcony. I'm just enjoying the vibes. And then later on, I'm going to get some lunch and just explore the city. I really want to do some shopping. So yeah, that's what's up. And then I'm definitely going to eat some food. I've literally not eaten anything since morning. I arrived here at nine. I came and passed out. I slept, it's already one. And instead of me ordering food, I started drinking wine. <laughs> My hand is getting tired. I remember when I was in the cab, I kind of mentioned it was so fucking hot and I mentioned the reason why I had my wig on instead of having braids which is obviously the right thing to do because in course it's so freaking hot so what happened so yesterday my hair was looking so bad I had stayed with my braids for two months imagine two freaking months and the reason is because I want to grow my hair out I know I shaved the other day but now I'm in the mood of growing my hair. So I've stayed with my braids for two months because I work from home. I literally don't go anywhere nowadays. So I thought, why not leave the braids zikai So I called my hair stylist and I told her that I had a trip that was really important and I wanted her to do my hair. But since, hey, but since she had a lot of clients, um, she told me that I was going to wait, but in the meantime, I could undo my hair so that it could be easier for her. When she's done with her clients, then she could come and get her for me, you know, and that's exactly what I did. So I stayed at the salon until 9. That is the last, that is when my salonist, my stylist, was having her last client. You guys, let me tell you. Human beings, human beings are just crazy. So my stylist goes ahead and says, since it's nine, and because of security purposes and she's a woman, she will, she would rather come to my place, which is closer to the salon. And she would do my hair at home. You guys, please keep in mind that I'm supposed to travel tomorrow in the morning at eight. That's when my flight is. She was like, all right, cool. You just go chill at home. Once I'm done with everything here, I'll come to your place. You guys, after 20 minutes, I called her. After 20 minutes, I called my salonist. And don't even forget that I have my hair half braided. First time, she actually take, picks the phone and she's like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm actually on the way. I'm coming. Just give me five minutes. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> she has picked up the phone. So there is no she could be lying. <laughs> After a few phone calls, she picked, she said, <laughs> you guys, lamest excuse I've ever had, like pathetic excuse. She has a friend who was in labor and she, she was called to help. Anyway, long story short, I ended up uh, taking all my hair out. That is at three. I was actually finishing up at 3 a.m. in the morning. You guys imagine 3 a.m. I haven't slept. And that's why I have a week on. I know when you're in coast you're supposed to have braids, but sometimes you just get screwed up and things happen. Imagine you guys, any ahinda the way I was I was so happy. I was going to rock my braids, you know. Moral of the story, do not rely, do not trust anyone in this world i swear man i swear in fact i was even wondering what was the point of her telling me to take all the braids out like she could have just told me she wasn't able to and i would have figured something else out or maybe but then the fact that she told me to to take half of the hair out because and then you don't show up like really so And so anyway, I ended up putting this 
ugly as we didn't have any other choice and here we are but you know what sometimes like you you don't always get what you want so i'm okay i'm actually over it i was mad yesterday but right now the views oh the views the views i'm just i'm literally over it oh my god it's the views for me Whoa. I want to do some shopping. I actually want to buy more wine.
Good morning, you guys. So it's day two in Mombasa, and Jana, I took a lot of wine, you guys. I almost finished two bottles, but thank God I did not wake up with a hangover, which is a really good thing. I wanted to go out yesterday, but I kind of decided to just stick around the hotel and see what it's about. I really did not enjoy the vibe because it was a bit boring. I wanted to explore, go to the clubs and see how Mombasa people party, but I think I'm going to do that today. So it's in the morning, it's around 8, and I actually want to go to the salon. You guys, I'm not happy with how my hair is looking. I mean, I'm on vacation. Why do I have my hair looking like this? If, if I'm not looking good, if I don't feel good about myself, then I'm not going to enjoy it, and that's not... And that's not what I want to do. But later on, after I go to the salon, I'm going to head to Kongwea Market and then see what I can find. If I will find some good pieces, and I'll show you what I got. So hopefully, I'm going to get some good, good pieces. 